I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will further explore trigonometric ratios in the domain 0 to 360 degrees. Question is consider the point P minus 5 minus 8 on the terminal arm of angle theta in standard position. Determine the exact value of primary trigonometric ratios and determine principal angle and related acute angle to the nearest degree. So let's understand what we're trying to do here. So first that's a coordinate plane and in this we are given a point P which is minus 5 minus 8. So minus 5 along the x-axis minus 8 along the y-axis so it could be something like this. Correct? So that is the point P given to us. Let me label this. So we have P as minus 5 minus 8. So we are in coordinate 3. So these are the coordinates. Coordinate 1, coordinate 2, coordinate 3 and coordinate 4. Let me also write down the cost rule, right? So we know uh, cos is positive in coordinate 4, all are positive in coordinate 1, sine in coordinate 2 and tan is positive in coordinate 3. For some it is all students take calculus or all silver T cup. Anyway, we at least know in which quadrant what is positive. Now, what we need to do is determine the exact value of primary trigonometric ratios for this point. Now, to find primary trigonometric ratios, which we know we can find with Sokotoa, right? So, let me write down Sokotoa also. So, that helps. What is sine? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan is opposite over adjacent side. Now let's form a triangle and that to a right triangle to answer these questions. For that, I'll drop a perpendicular from the point to the horizontal line, the x-axis. Right? Let us say this is my perpendicular and so we form a right triangle. Right. So this is the right triangle for us. We know two sides. One is 5, one is 8. We can find the hypotenuse by using Pythagorean theorem. right? So let's do that. So we are trying to find the hypotenuse. And that is square root of, uh, let me write positive side. So 8 square minus, uh, sorry, 8 square plus 5 square square root. Correct? So we'll do square root of, 8 square plus, I did a mistake, we'll do square root of 8 square plus 5 square equals to, it says square root of 89. So we'll write this as square root of 89. That is kind of exact value, right? So we'll have square root of 89. So that is the hypotenuse for us. Now, we need to find the ratios. So, what the ratios are? Sine, cosine, and tan. So, what is sine? Sine of the angle. So, let me write angle here. Let's say this angle, the acute angle for the time being. Or, we could also write like this. The angle theta. Anyway, both gives us the same result. Let's say this is the angle theta for us. Right? So, that's the angle theta. In standard position, standard position means that the initial arm is along positive x-axis, vertex is on the origin and terminal arm, right? And the angle is theta. That is the angle theta for us. Now, what is sine theta? Sine theta is equal to, what you can do is, you can consider this triangle as looking from here. Now, sine theta is opposite side over hypotenuse. Now this side is negative as you can see, right? Negative y. So negative 8 over square root of 89. So that is the exact value of sine theta. As you can see, we are in quadrant 3. So sine should be negative. So it is negative. Okay. Now let's find cos theta. So what cos theta is? Adjacent side. And that side is minus 5. So it is minus 5 over square root of 89. Now how about tan theta? Let me write it here. 
tan theta will be from here opposite side is minus 8 and adjacent is minus 5 so it is minus 8 over minus 5 that is plus 8 over 5 so that is how you can find exact values of the primary trigonometric ratios I hope that is clear so the steps involved here are whenever you are given the point point gives you x and y coordinates you have to find the hypotenuse using Pythagorean theorem correct now the next part is determine principal angle and related acute angle to the nearest degree now how can you do that for that what we do is we first find the related acute angle now in this case the acute angle is kind of with the horizontal that is the acute angle so if you consider this and these values we can say tan theta is 8 over 5 we can actually write here as acute angle is tan beta we could use beta first we'll find acute angle is equal to just drop the coordinates think as if it is positive so it is y value over x value which is 8 over 5 right now from here beta is equal to tan inverse of 8 over 5 that is equal to use your calculator and find the answer so we have shift that is tan inverse and within brackets 8 divided by 5 bracket close equals to so the answer here is in radians let me convert that okay so we'll do shift mode 3 which curves and degree so we'll again do this calculation so we'll do shift tan inverse 8 divided by 5 bracket close equals to 57.99 degrees 57.99 degrees so that is what we get for this particular case 57.99 degrees now we have to round it to nearest degree so we can round this and write it as 58 degrees okay so angle beta the related acute angle for us is 58 degrees what is the principal angle principal angle theta is equal to 180 degrees plus beta which is 58 degrees correct so let's add that to I mean 58 degrees let's add 180 degrees to 58 and write down our answer so it is 237.9 so 238 to degrees so that becomes the principal angle right so that is how you can find both acute angle and the principal angle for the given situation right I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.